Hi Skate Pals, I'm Elizabeth from Geek Girl Skates and this is video two of my quick start guide to roller skating. If you haven't already watched the first video, go ahead and pause this one, find the link down in the description to the first video because in that one I talk about some essential beginner skills like how to stand up in your roller skates, how to roll forward, how to come to a stop and how to fall safely. So you want to look at that first before you start on this one. But this video is going to build on those essential skills and we'll be looking at how to balance on your roller skates, how to skate on one foot, building up your stride skate and two more ways to stop. So if you're new to roller skating or it's been a really long time since you last had skates on your feet, I would definitely recommend that you invest in some good safety equipment. So this might include things like knee pads, elbow pads, wrist guards, and a helmet. This won't prevent every injury and definitely in the first video we looked at how to fall safely to avoid injury but they will help you. That said, I'm not wearing protective equipment today because I have swept the ground pretty thoroughly today and I'm a very confident skater. So the first skill that I want to talk about in this video is balance and how we actually can work on our balance to help with our other skate skills. I talked a little bit about this in the first video. So I mentioned how if the, your weight is in the front of your skates, you're probably going to drift forward. Whereas if the weight is in the rear of your skates, you're probably going to drift backwards. But you'll also want to work on your one foot balance because this will feed into some other skills we're going to talk about in this video like stride skating and t-stops so let's start out first by balancing on one foot without even rolling i'm going to shift my weight over to my right foot and i'm going to slowly pick up my left foot and i'm going to bring this left foot in nice and tight we don't want to flail because that will <laughs> make us lose our balance I'm going to keep my right leg nice and bent and we're just going to hold this for as long as you can. If you're playing roller derby or interested in playing roller derby, they'll want you to do this for at least 30 seconds. When you get bored or you can't hold it any longer, go ahead and put your foot down and we'll transfer our weight over to our left side and slowly pick up our right foot. Now hold this for as long as you can. 30 seconds is a good goal to have if you're just starting out. You can even practice this off skates. And so something I'll do is like when I'm brushing my teeth or making a cup of tea and waiting for the kettle to boil, I'll just stand there off skates and, and just practice balancing on one foot. You can try and, and make it a game with yourself so I try and go for as long as I can. I think I made it up to two minutes at one point and I was really impressed with that and then I got bored. But if you're finding this to be really easy you can practice moving your held foot around and move it to the back and just kind of get used to feeling your balance being able to shift as you move your other foot around. If you're interested in park skating, this can be really useful for learning a lot of one-footed tricks like different one-footed stalls and, and like a Maryland stall. You'll need to be able to balance on one foot and hold that position for a few seconds. Now that we've got the hang of balancing on one foot while stationary, we're just gonna add a little bit of a roll to it. So this should look something like this. I'm gonna take a few steps forward to get a little bit of a roll, only go as fast as you're comfortable with, transfer my weight over to my right side and slowly lift up my left leg, keeping it nice and low. If you're feeling confident and want to start pushing yourself, you can try increasing your speed a little bit. You can um, increase the height that your foot is being raised to. Um, you can increase the, the length or the duration that you're holding your foot up, whatever you need to help build the skill. So building on from you know, being able to balance on one foot and being able to skate on one foot, we're gonna look at working on our glide skating. And what I mean by glide skating is, if you think about when you're watching you know, competitive figure skating or you might watch artistic roller skating, but these skaters often have this gorgeous skate. Um, and it's a lot to do with shifting weight and um, elongating their legs when they're skating. So it looks something like this. What these skaters are doing is essentially 
shifting the balance of their feet and skating on one foot. So they might be pushing off with their left foot and extending their leg, balancing on their right and pointing your toes out and then bringing that back in. And they're going to swap with their right foot and push off with their right, extend their leg out, point your toes and bring it back in. And this gives a really lovely fluid look to your roller skating. So in the first video, we talked about just taking these little, little baby steps. And this is the foundation for that glide skating because it is essentially steps, right? So you're doing little baby steps and then you're slowly building these baby steps up to bigger baby steps and you're pushing out more. And the more you push out, the faster you'll go. So we can build this up even more until you get a full glide skate. With the skate skills we've been talking about so far, it's mainly been a case of skating forwards and we haven't really talked about how to change directions. So a lot like ice skates and roller blades, we actually have edges on our roller skates, even though it might not look like it. So if I wanna to turn to the left, all I have to do is lean to my left. And if I wanna to turn to the right, all I have to do is lean to my right. If you find that you're struggling to change directions, it might be actually that your trucks are a little bit too tight and by loosening them, you can get a little bit more maneuverability in your skates. If you haven't done this before, don't worry because I've done a video where I talk about how to adjust your trucks and I've put a link to that down in the description. So if you want to work on this and test out the, you know, the extent of your agility and maneuverability on your skates, you can go ahead and get some cones and practice weaving around those, which is kind of fun to do. Um, but otherwise, we're just going to skate forwards and we're just going to try and snake along with our skates. So take a few steps forward to get going and just lean to the left and lean to the right. Left, right. If you are finding that you're struggling with this bit, make sure you're nice and low when you're doing this because just like when we we're doing lemons in the first video, um, you'll want that um, lowness to help you get that oomph as you pump yourself forward. So I'm going to finish this video with looking at two more ways to stop. In the first video, we looked at stopping using an assist like a wall or a chair to help us stop and slow down. We looked at taking a knee to help us stop, which is a good emergency stop. And we looked at using our toe stops. There's actually quite a lot of different ways to stop. So in this video, I want to talk about plow stops and tea stops. Plow stops are actually going to build on lemons or bubbles that we did in the first video. Um, so when we made that shape of a lemon with our feet, if we just stop here, this will actually help us come to a stop. We'll roll forward, make a lemon, bring our feet together, but instead of pushing back out, we're just gonna leave it here and we're gonna come to a nice little stop. You'll really wanna make sure that your knees are nice and bent um, and your butt nice and low. If you start to teeter up, you're probably gonna fall forward. And so you really wanna keep your center of gravity nice and low and in your heels. You might find that you're struggling with this and this could be partly down to your wheels and the type of surface that you're skating on. If you have very sticky wheels or your ground is really rough or um, whether you're outside or inside you might have a stickier inside floor um, you might find that plow stops are really difficult and this is partly down to a wheel and um, floor surface combination and um, i find skating indoors i like a nice hard wheel and that helps to get me a little bit more of a slide when i'm coming in for a plow stop this isn't always a great stop for skating outdoors, um, mainly because you're probably going to have a stickier wheel and you can't always predict the type of surface that you're skating on. If you are skating outdoors, I would really encourage you to use T-stops where you can, as I think this is probably one of the better ways for stopping outside. This is gonna build on our one foot skating that we looked at at the beginning of this video. Because it involves picking up one foot and putting it behind the other foot. So I'll show that motion again and I would really encourage you to practice this stationary first or even with your skates off. So we're gonna have our feet nice and parallel, knees nice and bent, 
and I'm gonna pick up my left foot, transfer my weight to my right foot, and just put my left foot behind my right foot. So this forms a T shape. And I'd really recommend you practice this off skates or not rolling first, because in addition to being able to pick up one foot and putting it behind the other foot, you'll want to slowly and gently put pressure on this back foot here. If you put it down too quickly or too firmly, you're probably gonna lose your balance and fall over. So you'll want to slowly and gradually add the weight to your foot as you put it down. I often see a lot of beginner skaters put their, their back foot down at an angle like this. So you're dragging along the, the side of your wheels and you want to avoid doing that as well. You do actually want all four wheels on the ground um, but you want to slowly apply that pressure and let yourself come to a stop. So I'm skating forwards. Transferring weight to the right, picking up my left foot, slowly putting pressure on my left foot. This is really a great stop for using outdoors when you're skating. It can wear down your wheels because every time you stop like that, especially if it's on rough pavement, it's gonna be wearing down your wheels a little bit. But if you're not comfortable turning around yet to, and doing 180 to use your toe stops, you're probably going to use a T-stop. So that covers all the skills I wanted to talk about in this second part of my quick start guide to roller skating. In the third video, we'll be taking a closer look at how to skate backwards and how to transition from forwards to backwards and backwards to forwards. I really hope that this video has helped you to learn how to roller skate and build on those essential skills that we looked at in the first video. If you like this video and it helps you learn how to roller skate, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with future skate videos. If you want to see more videos like this, just let me know in the comments what kind of tutorials you'd like to see. That's all for now, and keep roller skating!